welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss about the access to point of service root directories this is a very important topic to understand the access to installation and mainly in the support activities and in the development l3 or l4 development also you need to understand what are the directories available which files will be available in which folders the very first folder structure is a c access to config this folder will have all the log files available starting with the access to itself so suppose we need to enable the debug mode for few of the java class file or few of the uh, suppose for the prepared statement or for the option flow then we need to go to the this folder and we will find log forge xml files is available directly inside this folder we can go and edit that file and then we will be able to see the changes likewise suppose if you want to modify the label for the other module like data loader purge key log query phone server log file trans replicate then inside this folder there will be another folder like data folder purge and that log forge to the xml field will be available you can go and modify that file the another the next folder is a c access to database this contains all the database sql files being a client data.sql being a client schema being a client test data.sql so there is no other folder available for keeping all the sql files this is the only folder available where you can find all the dot sql files so another is a c access to download folder this is a very important folder with respect to the data loading into the access station so this folder is used by the nightly polling process this is the directory where access to point of service will look for files that were downloaded from the polling server all files will be processed in some folder available the only restriction is there will be one file available readme.txt file inside that file if you have mentioned then you can make the entry for that files inside this files so it could be the wild file supported or it could be the complete name suppose you don't want to upload any of the .txt file then we can mention like that start.txt file we don't want to process any of the backup file then we can mention start.bat and we don't want to process any of the .txt file then we can process start. in case suppose you don't want to process the specific file suppose employee.mnt file then you can mention here employee.mnt data loader won't pick up that file at the time of loading processing the files this directory also contain one important file summary.in file properties this file will have all the information regarding the data loader processor so that x environment can take the details from there and update to the x office like how many records we have updated which files were successfully loaded into system is there any error or not kind of information will be available inside this summary.in file another is a c access to install folder this is the folder when we are installing the access to then it will generate one log file that log file will be available inside this folder that install x application will you place all the log file inside this folder only another is a c access to lib folder as you will be aware of this is the folder where all the dot jar files will be available for example suppose for the custom environment config.jar if you are looking for then that file will be available inside this lib folder only and what are the files will get loaded that will information will be available in the c access to system dot property and c access to root system dot property file c another is a c access to license this will have the license file for the apache open source another is a linux c access to linux folder it will have the java runtime and platform specific libraries for linux 32 bit in the same way there is another folder linux underscore 64 it will have the java runtime and platform specific libraries for linux 64 bit 
another very important for the structure is the access port log. This is the service log directory for the access port point of service application. So all the log will be available inside this folder structure only. I mean to say the access dot log file will be available inside this structure only. So this is a very useful directory you need to remember. So any log file you are searching, you need to come to the C access dot hyphen log file and then you will be able to see the log files available for every day and for every application. The another important directory is C access store race. So this is the resource directory for the access store. Suppose you are seeing the on the left or right hand side according to the configuration which image to display. That image will be available inside this directory only. So if you want to use the any application help HTML files you want to see, then all the HTML files will be available in the C access to resource folder only. The another is C access to root directory. In this directory, there will be the system dot properties. Usually, we will keep the system dot properties that we mostly don't change a longer period of time. Another is a C access to sequence directory. This is a very important directory. This directory will have the two folders that contain the sequence files used in the pre-flight checks. When the access store is starting, then you might have seen there is a one message on the there is any sequence issue. So how this access store is processing? So inside this folder, there will be two folders. One will be the active for the access store point of service mode and another will be the train for the training mode and all the sequence file will be available inside this one. So at the time of a store startup, access store framework will check what is the value available in this sequence file and what is the value available in the db. If there is any mismatch, it will throw an error or if we have started the application in the disaster mode, then it will fix that issue by self. Another you see access to TMP directory. This directory is used for temporary file processing. So it contains the .trn files that had problem persisting to the database. If a transaction doesn't get accepted into the database on the first insert update, then the transaction will be written to a .trn file. When in this directory, it will attempt to be added to the database several times. Once completed, depending on the result, it will be moved to either CX to C access store temp completed or C access store temp failed. Another important file will be here: this, the access store dot anchor and dot pid files. The access store dot anchor exists only while access store point of service is running. This files monitors all of the wrapper control functions for deletion. Deleting this file will cause access store point of service to exit this full PID. Process ID files are created for both the Java process and the wrapper process for each application that is started using launcher. These files monitor the application for abnormal exist and lockup. A dot status file is also created here for these process as well. C access store updates contains the access store point of service properties file used by install X. So for any changes are made to these files, access store point of service must be stopped and the C access store configure.batch file must be run before the changes will take effect. It means if you are introducing any new file, new property in access store system, then you need to place that file change it into these folders and then we need to stop the access store and then first we need to run the c access store configure.batch file it will update that property into the respective files this folder structure is also used by the base configure.batch also c access store upload this directory is used by the access environment to build the polling packages c access store windows it stores Java runtime and platform specific libraries for Windows 30 with C access to Windows 64. It stores Java runtime and platform specific libraries for Windows 64. So at any point point of time, either you will be seeing C access to Windows directory or C access to Windows 64 directory or C access to Linux or C access to Linux 64. So in 
core of the directive, most of the time you will see any one directive at a time only. So not all four directives will be available in one installation. So these were the very important root directory available in the access to system installation. So I have kept for the better understanding from the real time system. So I have keep a one snapshot for you people. Just go through that one. I will explain you so you can see C access to config database download install x leave license log race root sequence emp update upload windows hyphen underscore 64 as i just told you so in four directory for the java and java related things only the one directory will be available at a time so this look like a 64 operation OS, so this is a window underscore 64 folder is available. Inside this folder, if you will see, there is another properties file, like config part dot properties file. So this will be available inside direct access to folder only. Another important you need to get a loaded to application, it will be that batch file that will be available directly inside this folder only. And another is a EFT link config dot properties file, another is a system dot properties file. So these files will be available inside this folder only. With this, we have completed the access to point of service root directories. If you like the video, please do subscribe the channel and share. If you do have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I will be happy to answer you. We do have a training program for the new person or who want to enhance their skill whether it is a functional consultant or is a technical consultant you can contact us microlearning319 at gmail keep learning keep exploring thank you so much for watching this video